Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Three Water with Caffeine. Next up is Heroic H2O Water, which also has caffeine added to it. So, these two waters have a lot in common. Let's start off by just talking about some of the similarities between these two. These are both similar sizes, similar shaped bottles. These are both from Amazon. The Three Water was $22 for a 12 pack. The Heroic Water was $20 for a 12 pack, so very similar prices. The Heroic Water has 60 milligrams of caffeine. The Three Water has 50 milligrams of caffeine, so a very similar amount of caffeine. I've reviewed caffeinated waters in the past, like Joe Water or Kick 2O Water, which are caffeinated waters. Kick, for example, has 100 milligrams of caffeine. So just to put it in perspective, these have about half of uh, Kick 2O water. And a 16 ounce bottle of Coke has about 40 milligrams of caffeine. So just to put these in perspective, like a little bit, a little bit more than a bottle of Coke, but a little bit less than Kick 2O. They say it's about half a cup of coffee's worth of, wa of uh, caffeine in these bottles. Three water has a pH level of 7.0, and these also have very similar um, Amazon ratings. This has a 4.4 on Amazon, this has a 4.2 on Amazon. The Heroic Water does not list a pH level though, and um, just doesn't say. We'll test it in a little bit, but um, the Three Water, so why is it called Three Water? I think, like, it doesn't say clearly on the Amazon page or on their website, but I think it's called Three Water because it has caffeine, electrolytes, and the high pH. I think that's the three things that the name is referring to. And this also has triple micron filtration. So maybe that's why it's called three water because of the triple filtration. Um, they say that this has no fluoride and no lead in it. And it has a low total dissolved solids level of 10 parts per million, which is pretty low. Let's open them up and just start doing the taste test. In the past, you know, the, oh, they also both have a full size lid, which is another thing in common. Oh yeah, another thing in common that they have is that they both arrived damaged. Like the majority of both cases of water were damaged. With the three water, they like all have dents in them. They're all, like all dented. Even the bottoms are like sticking out because of the dents. It's like, it's like half of the, you know, half of the waters like almost to the point that they're falling over. Like, look, it's like leaning, you know, that's just how they arrived. That's how they arrived from Amazon. And the heroic bottles, I think they all have like scratches on the labels. It's like really small, but they're, they're all damaged and it's in a different spot. So it's obviously not supposed to be like that. There's like little scratches all over them. So they both arrived damaged, which is just weird. All right, here's the taste test. The caffeinated waters in the past kind of had a sweet taste to them, so I'm kind of anticipating that. So here we go. A lot more mild of a taste than Kick 2O. It's like a, it's a little bit sweet, like a little bit sort of, of, a, of a, an aspirin taste to it, but uh, a lot more mild than the other caffeinated waters. Very similar. <laughs> I was just listing a ton of things that make them similar. The taste is also very similar. Another thing that they do is they say that they give a portion of the proceeds of each bottle to charities that support heroes and their families. So that sounds great at first, but that's a really vague statement. They don't say what percentage they give. They don't say who they give it to. They just say they give it to heroes. That's why it's called Heroic Water. If you research it, they don't say anywhere on their website who they give it to. They don't say how much they've given. 
if you look at the news section on their website, they just say, oh, we hired this new person. They don't say like, oh, here, here's our news section. We gave money to this charity or, or anything like that. Just as they give to heroes. Maybe the, uh, the employees are the heroes that they give the money to. Who knows? This is kind of a bad time for me to be doing this review. It's almost 9 o'clock. So I should be going to sleep pretty soon. So it's a bad time to be drinking a bunch of caffeine. Like I said with my past uh, caffeine reviews of Kick 2.0, I also reviewed those late at night, and it was a big mistake because I <laughs> they actually worked so well. The Kick 2.0 water worked so well that I ended up staying up till like 6 in the morning. I just couldn't fall asleep because of the caffeine. Um, I, I normally only drink water for the majority of the time. Like I almost never drink coffee or soda. So my body's just not used to having extra caffeine in it. So I drank multiple bottles for that video. So I was just, you know, really affected by the caffeine. Hopefully I can fall asleep, um, even though I'm drinking caffeine so late at night. The Heroic Water is from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> they have a page that links to all their social media stuff. They have Twitter, Facebook, you know, YouTube, all some other stuff. But none of it has been posted to it in uh, about four years. I think their most recent post on Twitter was from 2014. They must have fired the social media guy. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, you shouldn't buy a water because of their social media posts. It's kind of silly. Um, the three water posts to social media all the time. They're very active. And it's like, if you look at their Instagram, it's like 400 posts of just women holding, like pretty women holding the bottle of water. And like... I don't get it. They're probably paying someone like full time just to get pictures of women holding the bottle. Maybe that's why this costs two dollars more per case because they have to pay that person to run their Instagram page. It's kind of silly. Just what's the point of that? You should focus more on the water. Let's do it. The pH test. All right. Here's the results of the pH test. You can look at the colors and the color chart to decide for yourself what you think they are. The three water says it's a seven plus pH. What do you guys think? Does that look like a seven to you? Leave a comment what color you think it looks like. Yeah, the pH test looks pretty similar to me. The color looks pretty similar. These, these both really have a lot in common. The taste going back and forth is very, very similar. Like it's only a 10 milligram of caffeine difference. I'm actually going to just decide now that I think the Heroic Water is the winner. It's This is not based on the taste. I think the taste is a tie. But the Heroic Water has more caffeine. And I'm also picking it because the bottles are less damaged. They're more, more of them are damaged. More of these are scratched than these are dented. But I think the problem, you know, where it's, it's dented is a much bigger problem than the scratches. Um, that's just kind of unacceptable. And then there, there were actually, I count them, there's eight damaged bottles out of the 12. And they're just dented. And they're in a, they're in a box. So how did they get the dents? Like, were they that way before they shipped it? Because the box is not damaged on the outside. So what's up with that? Heroic is the winner. Heroic also sells flavored versions. They have a strawberry flavor and a blue raspberry flavor on their website. <sighs> yeah, they really taste like exactly the same. Um, it has like the mild sweet taste, like a mild, very mild aspirin-y taste to it. Like, they cut an aspirin in half, sliced it up, and just put it in the water to dissolve. And so, yeah, Heroic is the winner. I wish they were more clear on, you know, where they give the money to for the charities. And I wish it didn't have the scratches in the bottle. But it's, it's like, it's still good that they give some money to a charity, if they do. But it's, it's still better to give some than none, I guess. That the, the, the charity really has nothing to do with why I picked this. It's just mainly because of the dents. Five hours later. Hey everybody, here's a little update. It's two in the morning right now, and I'm just wide awake. 
I should be asleep, but I'm just not tired at all. There's definitely caffeine in at least one of these waters, and it's definitely having an effect because I'm just like, not tired in the least bit. I'm going to have to take sleeping pills or something so I don't screw up my sleeping schedule again. But I was also thinking that Heroic H2O probably has a better name because three water could get confusing in like an Abbott and Costello kind of way. Because somebody could be like, hey man, grab me three water. And then they come back with <laughs> three waters. <laughs> and then they would be like, oh no man, actually give me two three water. And they come back with like 23 of these. Um, it could just be confusing. Or like if you're at a restaurant, you're like, oh yeah, I'll take three water. And they come back with three waters. Um, so it's kind of a bad name because it could be confusing. Or if they wanted three water, you'd be like, hey, hey, give me three waters. And they come back with one water. <laughs> one, one three water. It's That's stupid, but it's kind of funny. Alright, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Congratulations, Heroic, you're winning. Bye everybody.